In patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma, the effect of autologous stem cell transplantation with long-term lenalidomide maintenance therapy on outcomes is unknown. A new trial examines this regimen with triplet therapy. In this multicenter randomized open-label phase 3 trial, 722 patients with symptomatic myeloma received one cycle of RVD, which is a combination of lenalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, and were then randomly assigned to either RVD alone or RVD plus high-dose melphalan and autologous stem cell transplantation. The RVD alone group received seven additional RVD cycles, whereas the transplantation group received four. Both groups received daily lenalidomide as maintenance therapy until disease progression, unacceptable side effects, or both. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival. After a median follow-up of 76 months, the risk of progression or death was 53% higher in the RVD alone group than in the transplantation group. The groups had similar rates of estimated 5-year survival, one of the secondary endpoints, at roughly 80%. Grade 3 or higher treatment-related adverse events, particularly hematologic adverse events, were more common in the transplantation group. The authors conclude that in patients with newly diagnosed myeloma, transplantation-based first-line therapy plus continuous lenalidomide maintenance therapy is superior to non-transplantation therapy in terms of progression-free survival, but it carries a greater risk of adverse events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.